This is Brandon Card, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. I'm here with my new Bionic boat cover made by Empire Covers. You know, this is the cover that I've been using all year on tour. This is by far the best cover that I've ever used. It's made with a multi-layer construction. The top layer is uh, UV protected. It's never gonna fade, uh, very waterproof. And then on the bottom layer, it's a super soft fleece. So it's never gonna scratch your boat. It's not gonna damage your boat at all. Uh, you know, there's straps all up and down the cover. So what I can do is I can tighten these straps down and which makes it trailerable. So I can take this on the interstate, you know, I can go 75 miles an hour. It's not a problem. It's not gonna blow around in the wind at all. Uh, you know, something else that's really cool about this cover is that it's eco-friendly. You know, it's made with eco yarn, which that's a recycled yarn. And uh, it's just, it's really cool that, that they're, you know, doing something that's gonna be good for the environment. So this is my bonnet cover and check them out at empirecovers.com. Camco's boat cover support will help extend the life of your boat cover by preventing water from pooling in a low spot. It installs on most boats up to 22 feet in length, and the package includes everything you'll need. Start by installing the adapter into the top of the telescoping handle. Next, take the bottom support plate, the one with the protective foam pad, and place it face down in the cockpit area of the boat. Then place the bottom of the telescoping handle into the bottom support plate. Place the top support plate onto the telescoping handle adapter. The support handle assembly should be in an area of the boat's cockpit that will best eliminate the low points in the boat cover. Make sure the small end of the triangular shaped support plates are facing the bow of the boat. There are four main parts to the strap assembly. The webbing, the flexible tubing, the adjustment buckles, and the hooks on either end. Start by looping the center of the strap assembly with the flexible tubing around the bow of your boat. Keep tension on the two strap ends to hold it in place while you're working your way back to the support handle assembly. Once you're past the windshield, close it. The webbing should pass over the windshield. Feed both ends of the webbing to the underside of the support plate, through the front slot and over the top of the plate. Then, continue to pull the straps back down through the slots of the rear of the support plate. Next. Take the hook from one end of the strap and attach it to an eye, cleat, or other secure point as near to the stern of the boat as possible. Repeat this process with the remaining hook on the other side of the boat. With the strap assembly in place, extend the support handle to the desired height and then remove all slack from the webbing using the adjustment buckles. Now you are ready to install your boat cover. Thanks for watching. But wait, there's more! Camco's boat cover support is handy not only for supporting your boat cover in the off-season, but in the boating season as well. Included in the package of your boat cover support kit is a boat hook attachment. Simply remove the support plate adapter from the telescoping handle and the boat hook attachment fits in its place. We offer four brush head attachments. Extra soft, soft, medium, and stiff. A wash head with microfiber pad, a mop head, a squeegee, a paddle blade, a fishing gaff, and a landing net. Okay, the first thing we need to know to determine the right boat cover for this boat is the center line and beam dimensions. Now quite often the manufacturer will you know, tell you the length of the boat, like this is a 23 foot sea ring. Well you can't necessarily go by that. You want to take a dimension. So what you need is a tape measure, obviously longer than the, long, than the length of your boat. You start in the bow and with, with a helper pick a point that's the farthest point on the bow. And you want to measure back towards the stern. Now you want to measure at a horizontal plane. So you don't want to go up and over windshields or tops or anything like that. You want a horizontal dimension straight through the boat. All the way to the farthest point on the stern. Now for this boat, we're at 22 feet 8 inches. So that would be the center line measurement that we're going to use to choose our boat cover. The next dimension you need is the beam width of your boat. Now, very often the manufacturers will specify a beam width. That's not always the widest point of the boat. So what you want to do is look at your hull style and take a dimension across the boat from port to starboard at the widest point of your boat. Again, I got a helper over here. I'm going to hold the tape measure at the widest point and it looks like 102 inches for this boat. 